right, in this video I'll show you a very simple but extremely, again extremely, very cool transition and it's called paper transition. For this tutorial I'll be using our paper project. By the way, you can use any paper assets you find on the internet, just a taken screenshot and that's it, it's absolutely for free. But with our paper project, you'll find a 200 different paper assets for various tasks like transitions, maybe stylizing your clip and actually you can use it for a mixed media. So if you're interested, I'll leave a link below this video. So if you're new here, my name is Dima from Studio Snack. I created various and useful tutorials for video creators of all levels. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. So let's move on to the tutorial. We are already in After Effects, I have a clip on the timeline. You can use this transition anywhere you want and it will always look great. At this point, I will split our clip using Ctrl Shift D or Command Shift D. Then right click, go to time and choose freeze frame. This will lock our frame and make it static. Now we need to find three different frames and take a screenshot. I'll be using the free plugin, it's called FX Console. I highly recommend it because it speed up your workflow and After Effects by thousand times. Plus, it allows you to take a screenshot quickly. If you don't have this plugin, just set your area on the timeline using B and N, then go to Render, choose PNG at the format and just export uh, this PNG sequence and do this three times. I have already taken three screenshots and I'll simply add them to the timeline one by one above the main clip. Add the first frame and trim it to the transition length. Then add paper from our paper project over the first screenshot and trim the paper. Now select the frame and in track mate choose the paper. Duplicate the paper, enable visibility and set the blending mode to screen. Select everything, right click and choose pre-compose and call it paper frame 1. Now move 5 frames forward and add the second screenshot. Do the same steps. This time I will add paper 15 over the screenshot. Again trim it and for the screenshot set the track mate to the paper. Then duplicate the paper and set the blending mode to screen. Precompose and call it paper frame 2. Move another 5 frames forward and add the third screenshot. And repeat the same steps. Now we have three different frames with the paper and we can move it, rotate it, size it and position them wherever you want. I will position them like this. We have the first frame showing Lil Yachty face and I want it to be visible. I think this will be a great focal point for the transition. Select paper frame 1, look for exposure effect and edit. Set the first keyframe and for exposure I'll set 1. Then move 5 frames forward and set exposure to 0. Now just copy the effect and paste it at the start of each paper frame. Now we can move on the second part of the transition where I'll create the unfolding effect. Go one frame forward and split the clip. Right click, go to time and choose freeze frame. Move the static frame to the left. Select the pen tool and start outlining Lil Yachty. You can do this roughly, no need to be super precise here. This effect should look like a real cutout with scissors or a knife. When you are done, you will have this result. Now duplicate the cutout object and on the lower layer add the simple choker effect. Set chalk mate to minus 45, then add the fill effect and choose white color. Next look for the rough on edges effect and edit. Set border to 16, sharpness to 10 and scale also to 10. Add rough on edges again, set type to rusty, border to 5.5 and sharpness to 10. Add paper 38 to the timeline from our paper project on top. Copy the top cutout layer and place it above the paper, name it mask. This is just for organization. Select the paper and in track mate choose the mask. For the paper set the blending mode to screen. Now look for curves effect and edit to the paper. I will lower the curve to achieve the best look. Select everything, right click and choose pre-compose. I'll call it unfold. 
select the pen tool and create a frame by frame animation from bottom to top. Press M on the keyboard to reveal the mask. Now set a keyframe for mask path. Go for frames forward and simply move the top points. Do this every 4 frames until the object fully appears. I will use 5 keyframes. You can make the transition shorter or longer as you wish. Then select all keyframes, right click and choose toggle hold keyframes. Now we have a basic animation which is good and very simple, but let's make it even more interesting and effective, like a real paper. Create a new composition and call it unfold back. At the unfold composition we created earlier to the timeline, then at paper 38 under the unfold layer and set track made to unfold. Go back to the main composition and add unfold back on top. Select the unfold layer, press M on the keyboard and choose the mask. Now simply copy and paste the mask onto the unfold back layer. But here is the a very important part. Go to the mask section of unfold back and click invert here. Then right click, choose transform and flip vertical. Do this again and choose flip horizontal. Now animate unfold back by moving it uh, so that it looks like the back side of the paper. Try to be precise to ensure the animation looks super cool. I will move it and create the keyframes every 4 frames until the paper is fully revealed. At the last frame I will simply trim the layer and delete the extra. Select all keyframes and choose toggle hold keyframes. And this is the animation we have. I like this version with the unfold paper effect much more than what I did in the last tutorials. I think it looks more realistic as if I actually cut out the object and scan it. Let's add the drop shadow effect. Set the distance to 0, opacity to 70 and softness to 90. Now copy the drop shadow effect and paste it onto all other layers. At paper 38 at the bottom, uh, trim it to match the transition. Look for invert effect for the paper and edit. Set the blending mode to screen. I think it needs uh, in and out effect. I would add a shake effect and maybe like a flicky light effect. Create an adjustment layer, go to the start of the transition, move 3 frames forward and trim the adjustment layer. Move 3 frames back and trim it again. At the exposure effect, set the first keyframe for exposure uh, in the center and set it to 3 and on the edges set it to 0. At the transform effect, click the stopwatch near position with Alt or Option if you on Mac and write this expression. Duplicate the adjustment layer and place it the end of the transition. If the shake effect causes the composition to slightly shift outside the frame, just increase scale to 102. Add another adjustment layer below our shake and light flicker effect, trim it to match the transition. Uh, then add the transform effect and set the first keyframe for scale at the start, move to the end and set it to 105. And here is the very cool transition we have created in a couple of minutes. I think it's a great addition to your video, it's very dynamic, it looks like real scanned paper frames, but we did it everything in After Effects in just a few minutes. I highly recommend you use our paper project, it's not just a large library of different paper transitions, overlays and PNG assets, it's a massive time saver for your workflow. Check out the link below this video and try our paper project. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments. See you in the next one. Good luck.